Hello everyone! This is Future Editing Beth with a quick message to tell you that this is the last episode of 2019. I am taking a short break for the holidays and the next episode will go up on January the 7th. I wish you all the best and I will see you in 2020. Okay, back to the game. Hello everyone! My name is Beth and welcome back to my Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play series. First of all, I just wanted to mention that I have fixed the mouse issue. Thank goodness, after a lot of research and experimenting, at the in the end all I had to do was disable the origin overlay. And I am so grateful. It, for a while I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to fix it. It was causing me some grief. So that worked out well. So back to the game. Uh, we have conquered most of the western approach by now. So today I've decided just to do a bit of an interlude to do some companion quests. There's Valmar in the Hinterlands, which leads to uh, more of Varric's story. There's Sarah's quest to do, possibly a soulless quest to do after some more table missions are done. There are a couple of things in the Exalted Plains that I want to try. I read a way to possibly glitch into the grotto that I'm hoping is going to work so I can do it without destroying all the graves. There's a new dungeon area that I need to open up that is either a war table quest that I've already finished or one that I haven't yet to do. I have basically a whole long list of side quests that I want to finish and we'll see how many we can get through in an hour or so. So I've also done a little bit more research about the Here Lies the Abyss quest that I was questioning last episode. So the western approach scene that is available now is in fact the spot that I thought that it was and there is more that will come after that story. So next episode I think we're just going to finish up the quest that I'm currently on and all the rest of the side quests in that area. And I read, <laughs> I did more research <laughs> about the Skyhold renovations that I was also wondering about. And it turns out that in order to get the scaffolding, etc., all finished, you have to complete a major story arc. And I thought that I was doing that after I found Stroud, but I think I have to complete the entirety of Here Lies the Abyss or perhaps the Winter Palace, but I'm going to do that after. So, that's sort of where I stand now. I've done a lot of reading and a lot of thinking. I think I've got a good plan mapped out for the next little while. First, we're going to sit in judgment, then we're gonna do the war table. Can I jump down? Yes! Inquisitor? Before you is service of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western Approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the Approach, without his master's consent. You stole from Corypheus. I don't know whether that's stupidly brave or bravely stupid. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, your worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor and I can put them all at your disposal. Hmm. I definitely want him as a smuggler. Oh, some people are not gonna like that. Someone who can smuggle magical artifacts to Devinter and back shouldn't be wasted on court diplomacy. Bring those artifacts back to the Inquisition. Procure something really useful and we might loosen the shackles. Your worship knows value when she sees it. I won't disappoint. I actually didn't lose as much disapproval as I was fearing, so that's exciting. Two, do I have another one there? No, that was the only one. The war table. To serve any master, 
That was simpler than I would have hoped. The Imperial Counting House clerks were so shocked to have been discovered and so fearful of being found out, they all but swore their loyalty to the Inquisition on the spot. My agents said they are behaving themselves so far. Indeed, they sent gifts for you to prove their good for you to prove their good faith. But we will watch them closely, nevertheless. In the meantime, any efforts we make to gather coin in Skyhold will undoubtedly benefit from their placement. Excellent. What is this one? Measure veil strength. Oh, this one is for Solus. Inquisitor, the experiment was a success, and these readings are remarkable. By overlapping the relative strength of the veil over maps overlaying relevant, I have extrapolated points where small rifts are more likely to develop. This should let us deploy Inquisition forces more wisely, while still protecting people who would otherwise be threatened by demons. In addition, I have located one node of possible interest in the Hinterlands, a very large rift that has not yet opened. It may be worth investigating the area. Oh, I don't remember this area that he's talking about. Okay, so where's the last one? There it is. Continuing research. Uh, this is another one of Hillisona's quests, which I will not read. I have forwarded a 50-page report to Commander Cullen, outlining ways to counteract aggressive behavior in several species. Thank you, Hulisma. So where did I need all the glitters? Western approach resources. Where is the Exalted Plains? There is a quest. Did I have it written down what it was called? I did not. <laughs> Whoops. All right, a test of metal and the crew. It is irreverent who noticed the dark spawn your worship. Such pockets are not uncommon. We understand that you could not allow such things on trade routes you wish to exploit. Unfortunately, we cannot allow external forces to cross our holdings. Instead, we request sanction to act under your banner. It is a risk we are prepared to take because such partnership and the expected increase in status will be profitable. In return, we promise resources that we remain committed to merely observing your greater struggle. Greater struggle. I trust you understand. A note by Cullen added below. Brought to our attention by Sutherland and his crew. Charming. So, let's see. Colin. Ooh. Do we need such allies? March. Answer with a small group and give this fool no reason to posture. Sutherland and his crew will serve. A holdout over negotiations. This offer comes with caveats, but it is valuable. Ah. Uh, I think Liliana will work. She's actually, I think, the longest time? But I think it'll be okay. I can't remember who it is that's supposed to do this one, so hopefully that'll be all right. Let's see what we have. Now, Exalted Plains resources there is. Sponsor. Stop the war between Twinter. Investigations. Make contact in the Emerald Graves. I think I'm going to do after I've done Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts and finished off Adamant, so that'll be quite a while away. Let's see, find the source of the dark spawn. Ooh. What is this? Translate the dragon text. Ambassador Montillier, I have been considering your last letter, and I, as I do owe you a debt of gratitude for handling the Cumberland incident, I think I may have found something that may solve the mystery. I have an acquaintance in Monrathis who has a brother in the Circles College of Antiquities. A few favors, and you may be able to translate your ancient text. But I should warn you, they are likely to be costly favors. Still, this may be your most promising avenue. Yours sincerely, Baron Maxwell von Surratt. The only one who can go is Lili uh, not Liliana, a Josephine, who says a favor for a friend of a friend can get the manuscript translated by an expert. Esteemed Ambassador Montillier, enclosed you will find the, manus the completed translation of your fascinating manuscript, which our scholars estimate to predate the first blight. The dialect caused quite a stir in historical linguistics. The College of Antiquities would be most interested in further cooperation the Inquisition should you uncover more serene documents from the pre-flight era. Cordial... 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 Cordially... I don't... Anna... Zimater? Ventry. I don't have a clue for that one. Accept report. I do not want to go to the Western Report at the moment. Is that... Oh, and it's gone from the map now. We'll figure that out later. I wonder if that was the spot I was thinking of that I was going to unlock. So, improving morale. Commander, our work continues in the approach. It's a difficult post, but our soldiers are determined to represent the Inquisition the best they can. Morale flags at times, but we manage. Knight Captain Ryland. 
So Josephine says perhaps a distraction would help. We can set about sending books. They might, they could set up a small library. And Cullen says simple comforts can go a long way and rations don't lift a soldier's spirits. We can see that they have a good meal at the end of the day. Uh, we'll do what Cullen suggests. Inquisitor. And now I need one for... What's this one? Secure source of water for the outpost. The Griffin Wing outpost has some access to water, but not enough to sustain the number of people there for a significant amount of time. The situation is not desperate, but if we are to maintain a presence in the Western Approach, the outpost will re require access to fresh water. We should locate a reliable source as soon as possible. So Cullen is the shortest, but we will do Josephine because she is free. And she says, the outpost will not last without water. A few scouts could search for a water source. Let us begin. So that takes care of everybody. The only thing I needed was for the Exalted Plains. Oh, was that it? No, that's it. Um, there is a quest called Investigate the Elven Glyphs. Now, I'm supposed to finish something in the Elven Plains, but I think I will worry about that later because I want to get Sarah's quest and Valmar out of the way. If there's time, I can go there and see what I'm still missing. Okay. Let's go um, talk to Solus first, because I may have unlocked the quest that I need from him. Inquisitor? My friend. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Find the powerful rift. That's in the hinterlands. Oh, all right. Well, we can do that. We'll put that third on our list. Because <laughs> I feel... Oh, oh, got a little stuck there. I feel like that's a precursor to his other main quest as well. So let's find Sarah and we'll do that. waiting to go get that reward for marching through Vachelle. Got something against free money? I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. Ooh, do I need a whole party? Okay, Sarah. Um, let's bring Varric. And Ironbow. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise, I don't know stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Right, things have gone sour, as they do. No, no, it, it has to go right or he'll kill me for the marching. It wasn't my fault. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachelle. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Well, that was rude. Check the pocket. Oh, hold on. I was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Don't believe this piss bag. He started it. Hopefully I can get the answers that please everyone. <laughs> Let's make sure there's nothing else around here. There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmond. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason. After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. 
freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. This ambush was your doing. Or am I remembering that wrong? Granted, it wasn't a direct attack, but the first move was hers, and apparently yours. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. You're of noble birth, and as Inquisitor, you are more than a peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Ask Biscuit. <sighs> Quite. Inquisitor, Herald. I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. A partnership gets me your enemies. I need the territory. What are you doing? He's half the mess in Vachelle. And now his job is recruiting the other. Consider your lands and title requisitioned. You opened the bargaining. Think of your immediate options. Surprising. Disappointing, but also welcome over the alternative. <laughs> Won't be hearing from you again. Be sure to return the favor. There's you. How was that Harmond mess, hey? I should be angry you let him live. But his kind really hate a leash. I mean, he deserved worse for turning it all bad. But we made out just fine. Good one, you. Risky, but keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that acceptance thing you're doing right there. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right, Inquisitor. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Getting serious about mage stuff. Magic. Things. How about... How about not so much? Just asking. For not so much magic. Great, yeah? Oh, Sarah. Is your network of contacts still active after what happened? After Lord Arsehole and Vichelle? Of course. He may have killed people, but that just means there's more who hate him. You should be one of them. But maybe not. So watch out for that. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? We'd have helped more if you hadn't been so chummy. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your Inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring, even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. I get it. Kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? Sitting and waiting. Great, yeah? I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Well, that's good. I know that she really, really likes it if you kill the noble, but I don't like to randomly murder people, even though he was such a douche. All right, so what's next? We're going to go to Valmar, which means we need to go to the Hinterlands. Where is that on the map? Down in... Nope. There. So we'll go to this camp, and I thought about doing a random party, but I think at this time I'm going to do it a bit targeted. So I want to bring Varric, because I just enjoy bringing him into the deep roads because he hates it so much and also this is kind of from an rp point he needs to see what bianca's been up to so i like that and i don't think we can get very far yet but i'm trying to get iron bull and dorian together 
Though I think I do have to be a little bit farther in the story before they really get along, but we're gonna give it a try. Inquisitor, I have something for you. I just don't want to deal with it. I'm gonna run away. This is by that waterfall. Don't really remember how to get there. Oh good, here we are. Oop! That was not my collect button. Oh, hello. else I should do since I'm here is I can find the uh, demon ram. Red Templars. What's so important that Carifia sent them out here? And send them home. Where is Lord Woolsey? Is that him over there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, let's go do that since he's on the way and I think you just have to talk to him and he'll be like, okay, I'll go back home. I don't want to accidentally kill him if I'm going to be fighting some Red Templars out here. Nope. Oh, where did you go? Are you not over here a second ago? Did I make that up? Ballad of what he is on here. He must have gone around a tree or something. Nope, oh, I see you. Pardon me, sir. Lord Wolseley, I presume. A young man named Jimmy would very much like you to return home. Ah, good. <laughs> We can go collect that later. Alright, so back behind here is the door. Oh, and apparently Hurry some... Karka? Yes. Mercenaries? Looks like Karta. Lyrium smuggling would be profitable around here. It would, wouldn't it? Only that was all they were up to. Must be an old dwarven outpost. What was it for? Trade, maybe? Your guess is as good as mine. This is definitely another of the many places in this game that I wish I could explore more thoroughly. I am just very fascinated by the idea of the deep roads. Like, I want to see all of them. I do get a little bit more. Hello there. Anyways, I do get a little bit more of that in the descent, but it's still not quite the same. I'm just going to make a note about that really loud sound that I'm probably going to want to edit down. I noticed when I was uh, listening back to a couple of my um, Exalted Plains ones on the ramparts, a couple of those horn sounds were incredibly loud and I had to almost mute them to get them to sound less painful. Go up that 
way. I want to explore down here first. Whoops. By hitting the right button. I don't think we can get in there. Can we? No, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure that we actually come out this way as well, but I'm gonna just explore the bottom really quickly. Just go in here, just for a quick second. Pretty sure we get to a point where there's like a locked door, maybe, yes. This place is so beautiful, like the way they managed to get the little sun rays coming in. And there's that whole bridge and area up the top here. I want to explore them. I want to see everything. But what's up here? And there is one area that you can glitch into. Which I'm for sure gonna do. Which gives me some hope on glitching into that other place that I want to go into. Oops. It's definitely worth bringing a balanced party into this particular section. Because you need, I think, um, a rogue to unlock some doors and a warrior to bash some things in. Always satisfying. I can't remember if you need to have the special extra unlock ability or not, though. Probably worth waiting until you have it just in case. Move out of my way, Varric. Move it. Move it. Darkspawn. We may be too close to the surface for these to count as deep roads, but have I mentioned I hate the deep roads? around a bit there. They've been watching our movements.
feel like perhaps this was a spot I should have been reading aloud all the little books and stuff you can get. But I have not. What you are missing, when I'm not reading it out loud, is that um, the Carta are dealing with Red Lyrium. I cannot remember if they're fully giving it away to the Red Templars, but they're not not giving it to the Red Templars. Alright, which direction first? Uh, to go down just yet, so we'll finish up up here. Let me just, I'm going to turn the camera down just by one point. One of the things that I was doing, not there, when I was trying to figure out what the problem was with the mouse is I was... Um, oh, no, I don't remember where it is. Uh, controls? Mouse sensitivity. There we go. Um, I was playing around a lot with the mouse sensitivity and the camera move speed and to try and get it to stop spinning, which of course had nothing to do with it. But, uh, that feels a little bit better. I like the camera. I'm very picky about my mouse movements in general. I like them to be fast, but there's a very small threshold between too slow and too fast, and finding the right one can be tricky sometimes. Well, that feels good. Anything else in here? That's good. What is my inventory looking like? I think I've been forgetting to empty it out when I go back to Skyhold. Oh, there's just a herlock standing down there. Well, we'll get to you then. Very glad I brought a rogue. It's just the same room. <laughs> same room, different exit. Is that the bridge we came in? Possibly. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. Next level. We should seal the tunnel before more dark spawn join us. This is the glitchy area because there's a lot of stuff in this room but you can't get in so I read somewhere that the developers just kind of neglected it or maybe changed their mind but apparently if you switch places really closely I've done it before yeah you can sneak right in grab some loot it's a nice room it's a shame they didn't put a way to actually enter it So I'm going to try that with the grotto that I want to get into, and if that doesn't work, apparently being on your horse or on your mount and like siding up to the door and dismounting really close to the door will kind of hurl you into the room. So that's what I'm going to try to do after this, perhaps after this, I'm not sure how long this is going to take. I want to sneak in and steal treasure. 
Although apparently also, now that I've completed all the stuff for the Keeper and the Elves over there, I won't lose anything, but put so much effort into being good. Oh, hello? Um, there we go. Anyways, I put so much effort into not destroying it, I don't really want to do that now. But we'll see what happens. In the meantime, let's glitch ourselves back out of this room and keep going. Where was the exit? Here and... Here, I think? Maybe I should have waited till I was finished. I'm not sure if I've ever successfully glitched out before. Oh no, there it is. That's not a door. That helps. There we go. Exciting! I like it when things work. Or glitch properly. <laughs> okay, so... Oh. Did I have the other gear? I feel like I missed a spot. Well, maybe not. There's nowhere else to really go. Yeah, must be thinking of something else. What was worth hiding here? Oh, I wasn't wrong. There is a little bit more in here. <clears throat> oh, hi everyone. How's it going? I'm gonna have to do some level ups for everybody as well as deal with the inventory. Oh, I guess that must have been it. Anything else on the map there? Well, what's over here? I missing spots? Well, I'm gonna try and get over here. I don't know if I can. Now, I am befuddled. Well, did I complete the quest here? Let's 
smuggler letters. Oh, smuggler letters. Huh. Oh, goodness. I didn't realize I had so many other quests to do. Promise of destruction. Use the world map to travel to... Oh, I should do that as well. Find the powerful rift. Permeable... Yep, yep, yep. So most of these, at least, I knew about. What is... The smuggler letters? Hmm. Intercepting caravans, smuggling red lyrium... Oh, in the Emerald Graves. Obviously, haven't been there yet. Deep roads. So investigate the Storm Coast fissure at the war table. Okay. I guess I'm finished here. All right, so what I'm gonna do then is go to the world map. Nope, I can't go to the world map while I'm in a dungeon. I did forget about that. Let's run away from here. Maybe I will save Cassandra's quest and do those after I've done the Winter Palace. I really do love the companion quests. They are some of my favorite things. This game is just full of my favorite things. So since we're in the hinterlands, we're going to go close that giant rift that Solas talked about. Now, where is thing on the world map that I haven't been to. Crestwood. Oh, Castle of Kara Oswin. I don't think there's anything else. It's all to planes. Let me have a look at you for a second. So there's the grotto. What are you? Caches. Have to grieve. So I thought there was a war table quest. Oh, a landmark I missed. Unacceptable. I thought there was a war table quest to unlock something, but I may have to do a bit of more looking. Perhaps I missed a step. In the meantime, we're going to go here and go get that rift. Still haven't heard Dorian and Iron Bull even talk to each other. That's a tragedy. How will we get their romance started? This is up where those caves are. Can't fast travel to the Astrarians, no. And what is that? Oh, I can put the Palandris on there. I think I've got that now. Let me double check before I go all the way there. Do I have exactly one? So I could finish off that little side quest whilst we're up there. Some red Templars. Really does hate those red templars, doesn't he? Oh, that's a bear. Maybe I can escape the bear. Where am I going? Oh, probably up this way. Right back into where the bear is. Just kind of ignore it.
What's the rift inside one of these caves? I don't think it was down here. Oh, I hate things that are all dark. Oh, it is down here. Ooh, that's maybe too much for us right now. We're gonna try anyways. Oh boy. Worked. Oh, I thought I was going to be interrupted. See my firestorm didn't make the camera shake. <laughs> Don't like that very much. I'll just run back out. So we can go hand in that flower to the ghost. You might think we also have to fight. Oh no. Who's talking? Hello? I'd rather go somewhere new. Guess this is a good place to camp? Is sheltered. So where was that guy? Up on a cliff somewhere? Oh yes, up there. Oh? Let's look around. Bonus. So, we can go hand in Lord Woolsey. And after that, I think we're going to try and see if I can sneak into that grotto. Because I'm very curious. Where is he? Oh, he's up around the corner. Greetings, traveler. May could be with you. Good day. Mm. 
Lord Walsley came back. He says you convinced him. Here, for all your trouble. Well, I'm glad I didn't accidentally kill him. Okay, so... The only thing I have la- Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a red lyrium. Do I want to do that? Oh, I probably should. I was gonna say, the only thing I have left is up here where the dragon is, but there is also this one. So that first. Then we'll go get the grotto. Which is exciting. I think we've more or less finished out the hinterlands then. Still have the dragon in that section to do. And I do still want to do like a shard gathering quest, but I think I, or episode, but I kind of want to do that without any sort of talking or anything. So I'm still figuring it out. Inside the cave? It might be. Can't really tell. It must be. There's no other path available. <laughs> oh, there's the red glow. Ah, good. Where is Iron Bull? Okay, now we'll go do the grotto. Nope, oh, that's got hold. Maybe I'll get that landmark after. But first, let's go here. Because I have to be on a. What was that? Keep getting distracted. Okay. Because I have to be on a mount, supposedly, to get in, let's just ride over there quickly, anyways. The marker down so I don't get lost. Yeah. There's just such a weird tilt shift when you're on an animal that I do not understand. So supposedly, if you get your left side up against the door and then dismount, you can go in. Almost. What about if I try to use my glitching thing? Oh, bull's almost inside. Nope, okay. Let's try this one more time. 
And then if not, I will just break the graves. Because I kind of want to go in now. I don't think there's anything really exciting in there. But I want to know. Oh, so close. That's alright. We just will never tell them that I had to break the graves. Uh. <laughs> I could do this all day. Oh. Another wolf statue. Mm. They are everywhere. So sorry I'm doing this grave robbing. But that door is locked and I want inside. Man, I really did have to smash every single tombstone, didn't I? Unfortunate. Oh. Is that another one up there? Yep. Missing one. Only got two of the pieces I need. Oh no, don't tell me I destroyed all those graves and I still can't get all the pieces. Is there another spot for graves that I missed? <laughs> Did I somehow manage to not get pieces that I need? What? No, that's very upsetting. I didn't even save before I started like a fool. I can't go back. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Wonder if it'll let me in with just... must be missing one. So I'm gonna just quickly pause the game to make sure this isn't a glitch that's already been known because I have some questions. So one moment please. Well I had a look around 
And the only thing they could suggest is that I have missed a grave. Which I will only assume that they are. But I'm going to try the dismount, dismount thing one more time. Just because I'm here. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I can't just back up on the horse. Oh, it was so close. Oh, I did it! Yes! After I destroyed all the graves. <laughs> uh, oh well. Let me just do a quick save, now that I've mentioned it. Uh, oh well. We'll just never tell anyone. It was just bandits. That's all. Definitely not me. And I can fast travel out of here too, that's good. Right past a treasure. Unacceptable. There's something there. How strange. Oh, mosaic piece. That's good. Ha! Was that everything? There was a boss fight or something. Wish I knew what was going on there, but that's okay. Honestly, a little bit disappointing. There was barely anything in here. So either I missed something, or it is glitched. Who knows? But at least I got to satisfy my curiosity. Who did I want to talk to? I pretty much just want to talk to... Cullen... Oh, we should talk to Varric, actually, now that we're done Valmar. Talk to Varric, then we'll talk to Cullen. What can I do for you, Inquisitor? No. Don't have anything to say. I want to know more about Red Lyrian. I'll tell you what I can. I've seen it infect people like a disease and turn them to Lyrium. How can it do that? That's a good question. To tell the truth, we don't really know what that shit can do to a person. And I don't want to find out. Oh, well, alright. I think that's enough on Red Lyrium. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. I thought that he would be talking about Bianca. What does his quest say? Oh, maybe I have to finish doing the Red Lyrium? Hmm, let me see here. Inner Circle. So Blackwall's Memories of the Grey. We have to do Cassandra's quest. Uh, unfinished Business. Yes, we've got those. Relord Lyrium. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, nothing unexpected there. Deep Roads has a War Table quest. Alright, well. 
It wasn't as exciting as I was hoping. I thought that that triggered a whole conversation from him. But let's go talk to Cullen. I don't think he has anything more to say yet. I think we have to progress a bit further into the story. But that's okay. We'll just go and say hello. Cassandra is moving. So that usually means she doesn't have anything new to say. Oh, I should talk to Solus. He might have something to say. Did you need something? That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Find Solus. Oh, hey. Good afternoon. Nothing new from you either. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I suspect I probably have to finish up some of the major story beats before any more of their conversation opens up. Which is okay. We will do. Law more... has asserted itself. We'll see. Not much better than the road, you ask me. If no one else will do it, someone has to step up. We'll see. That felt really vague and slightly dark. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm quite disappointed with the grotto, to be honest. I thought there was a little bit more in there. I think I was picturing it as being more of a um, like dungeon size, not just a random cave. So that's on me. But So next episode, we are going to finish up with the adamant quest line so far in the Western Approach. We're going to finish off as many side quests as we can over there, and then hopefully the episode after that actually finish Adamant. That would be exciting to have that storyline done. And then I don't know what we'll do after that, whether we're going to go right to the Winter Palace or whether we're going to do some more side quests, but you know, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves. So that was all for today. Thank you for coming along with me, even though Dorian and Iron Bull still had nothing to say with each other. But again, I think I need to be further along in the actual story. So we're going to keep trying. We're going to do some more. I don't even know. I don't even know. We'll get them all finished. Anyways, thank you all for coming. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.